Howdy, folks. I'm the Loch Ness Brian. I'm Amber. And here's some mysterious Reddit. It's not mysterious. It's just terrible. No mystery there. <laughs> While it's a Saturday morning special Reddit, I'm recording this on Friday, not to be tricky, so I do have tea. Everyone's been used to me drinking coffee, and so they'll, they'll guess coffee, but I'm letting you know I don't have coffee. <laughs> Well, this first story is excellent for a Saturday morning. It is! We're gonna make some pancakes! Our first letter is titled, Am I a jerk for telling my wife that I don't want to learn how to make pancakes? What could be better than a nice Saturday morning pancake breakfast? She wants breakfast in bed for her birthday. She wants a whole breakfast platter. She told me that she wants pancakes included, which I don't know how to make. She wants me to watch YouTube videos to learn. I'm not much of a cook and I don't really enjoy cooking, besides meat really. I told her that I don't want to, but I'll do anything else, even order them. She told me that she just wants one things and then got mad and said that she didn't want anything at all. Now we're in a weird spot and I'm the bad guy for not doing this for her. Edit, she wants pancakes from scratch, not the box mixed stuff. All right, folks, what do you think? Jerk or not the jerk? Yeah, I'm going to say you're the jerk here, OP. Like, I understand you don't like cooking. And if this was like some kind of like elaborate gourmet meal, I'd get it a little bit more. But even pancakes from scratch are relatively easy to make. This is, seems more like unwillingness to try. That's what I'm getting out of this is like, it feels like OP just doesn't want to put the effort in. He'd rather just outsource the task and buy her something. And she wants him to make her something with love yeah and i mean i can understand him his hesitation but you have a hopefully a lot of days to practice between now and then right so you can put together some pancakes and practice this and attempt to make her happy i mean i think that this is not an unreasonable request and i know you're not good at baking or cooking but also this is the one thing that she really wants she says that she would like a breakfast in bed and I don't think that that's a terribly unreasonable thing. And you're in a relationship, so it's a good to have some cooking skills anyway, so she doesn't have to pull... I'm assuming she's probably doing the lion's share of the cooking, you know, and so it might be good for you to develop some cooking skills. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure even if they don't come out perfectly, she'll still be appreciative of the effort. So I think that you should at least try to put the effort in. Yeah, as long as it's a sincere effort and not weaponized incompetence. Oh, these are charcoal pancakes because yeah. I put everything on high and... Yeah. So I don't think her requests are unreasonable. She says she's given you resources to learn and it sounds like it, you could take the time to learn to do this. So anyhow, take care and good luck. And not mapped out says, are you sure that you are not maybe also in a weird spot for telling her that she looks trashy when she got dressed up or for participating in an adultery subreddit? And OP replies, I want to clarify both of these things first. These aren't subsequent events. I was commenting to a post I respond to. If you read everything and not just nitpick, you'll see that I apologized and tried to make things right. This was also some time ago. Secondly, I was actively in the adultery sub. However, I'm no longer active in this lifestyle. There is more here to this story. I did not read these comments ahead yeah, of time. Same. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, now you're especially the jerk in my book. Oh no, this just got, this went from a almost like, oh, just you're trying, need to try a little harder type of thing to, oh no, it's a, it's, it's burning. Like the pancakes Amber described originally. <laughs> and Gru42 says, you're the jerk. Why are you married to someone if you're not even willing to do the bare minimum for it? OP replies, believe me, I do my fair share, if not more. I just don't understand why she wants me to do something that I don't enjoy or know how to do. That's part of being in a relationship time times is sometimes you have to do things that you don't enjoy. Like I'm sure she probably doesn't enjoy a lot of the household tasks she does. Yeah, I mean, not everything in life is going to be 100% enjoyable and part of it is just finding the enjoyment where you can and sometimes things chores are chores right only so many names one two nine eight says yeah everyone's in the wrong you don't get to demand what you want for a birthday gift but i also don't think that making pancakes is that hard assuming that she doesn't care if you use a mix 
And OP already addressed this, that she wants pancakes from scratch. All right, folks, our next letter is titled, Am I a jerk for asking my girlfriend to only speak English in our home? And this one's kind of xenophobic. I'm a 34-year-old male, and I moved in with my girlfriend, soon to be fiance, Cornelia, a 31-year-old female. I knew from day one that English wasn't her na native language. She's a Polish immigrant. And she also speaks Polish and Spanish, but I haven't realized how much those two languages affected her life. I mean, she speaks English on a daily basis, and in her work life, it's solely in English, so you can't blame me for not realizing it. Well, we moved in, and suddenly, other languages found their way into our lives. Her Netflix is full of foreign movies. Her mu music is often foreign, and she wants to talk about movies from Poland or Latin America that I have no interest in, and I don't want to watch with her or with subtitles. I never know what language that I'm going to encounter when I come home. One day, she'll watch the news in Spanish. The next day, it'll be English, only to switch to Polish. It's infuriating. I sat her down and explained to her that it makes me incredibly uncomfortable that there are a lot of things in our house that I cannot understand, and if she could please just tone it down. She asked me what I meant, and I explained that she should stick to music and movies in English, so we could discuss them and watch them together. I expected her to take it on board and listen to me, and actually try to make me more comfortable in my own house. So you can imagine my surprise when she said, you've got to be kidding me. I told her that there was nothing inappropriate about my request, and she is selfish if she continues to do things that make me uncomfortable. For all I know, she could be watching some awful racist stuff, but I wouldn't know about it because she could just hide it. This man has never heard <laughs> of Cliff Notes or Wikipedia or anything. Well, let's hope you also know your partner well enough to know whether they're likely to be racist or not. Yeah. It's just so, it's such a bizarre specification. Like, oh, I'm just looking out for making sure she's not racist. And he's just grasping at whatever straws he can find. She basically called me a jerk in more than one language and told me that she had to think and went to spend the night with her friend. I said to think carefully because it's a small request and she should be more accommodating instead of alienating me in my own house. She ignored me and slammed the door to the bedroom to go and pack. Now she's left and I worry that perhaps she was right. Perhaps I overreacted and I should have just gotten over it and tried to approach it more slowly, one language at a time. Am I the jerk approaching it so directly? All right, folks, what do you think? Jerk or not the jerk? Yes, you're the jerk. And that last bit, the whole idea that you think you're entitled to slowly fade out these languages, like I think is very, very telling. Like, OP, I understand this is your home, but newsflash, this is her home yeah. as well. Well, that's the big thing. It's like, this is her house too. You're like, this is my home, my home. And it's like, if you date someone who is multilingual, you need to ex anticipate that some of the time they may want to consume media in languages that are not just, just one of your languages. And she's even offered to watch with subtitles. Yeah. Your absolute refusal to watch anything that's not in English, like, yeah. I think is really telling here. He doesn't want or care about her hobbies. And mm -hmm. he's even, as so much, called them dumb hobbies, right? He's like, I just don't have any interest in the movies she's watching. Okay, OP. If you don't have any interest in them, then don't watch them. Problem solved. You don't even have to listen to them at that point in time. Well, and there's a bigger issue here, too, because this is also part of her history and her culture. And, yeah. like, you're talking about fiancéing her. Like, if you two want kids, presumably they would be raised with some aspects of her culture. So, like... English only, Amber. No, this is, like, I see a giant, giant red flags for her. Yeah. I really hope she finds those posts and... Uh, yeah, I, I think that he's very mistaken when he says his soon-to-be fiance mm -hmm. because I think this is his soon-to-be ex. Mm -hmm. That's that's my hope. It's like sometimes when you're in a relationship, you have to get used to your partner 
liking things that aren't necessarily not aren't necessarily your cup of tea like that's just part of the give and take and i'm naturally a very curious person so i understand wanting to know what your partner is listening to or watching but that's what the subtitles are for yeah you could listen in subtitles you could take some time and learn a new language yeah and that would be a great thing it's gonna help your mind and make you uh you know have a deeper connection with your current partner and I can certainly understand being hesitant towards learning a whole new language and maybe you could take some time and learn Spanish because I, you know, Spanish isn't a bad language to learn. It's a very useful language too. A lot of people speak Spanish and after you learn that, maybe you can start picking up Polish. Maybe instead of working on trying to eliminate her languages one at a time, you can work on building up your languages one at a time. I like that idea. So anyhow, take care and good luck. And Razzle Dazzle 626 says, absolutely, you're the jerk. That's so ridiculous and disrespectful of you. All right, folks, and our next letter is titled, Found out that my wife, a 27-year-old female, trapped me, a 38-year-old male, with our son, and I'm not sure what actions I should take or how I should tell her that I know. I think there's a important PSA in here, so I kind of wanted to read this one. This one does involve reproductive coercion. She's a stay-at-home mom, and I was working today, but I own the company, so I decided to come home to surprise her. I found my daughter crawling around unsupervised in her playroom, and my other kids were just entertaining themselves. My son said that she was calling someone in our room. So I went there and I heard her laughing and saying, if you want to settle down and marry him, then just do that. I stood outside and listened in. I know that it was an invasion of privacy, but I just did. Then eventually they were talking about her friend getting pregnant to keep him in her life. And my wife said, just put your birth control in the microwave and carry on taking it in front of him and then pretend it was an oopsie that worked for me. I heard that and I felt numb, especially as she was talking about how her friend's boyfriend was rich and that it's important not to lose him. She was also saying how good the lifestyle was. Nothing about me. Did she marry me for my money? I don't know. And I love her and I thought that she loved me. I still believe that she does, but it just brought up doubt in my mind. I went and sat outside and then went for a drive just to do something. Then when I came back home and pretended that everything was normal and that I just had a busy day at work. I'm still processing everything and I don't know how to talk to her about this. What do I even say? I'm in shock because I didn't expect this to happen at all. All right, folks, what do you think? Jerk or not the jerk? Yeah, I don't think you're a jerk here. I mean, I understand listening in on someone is a bit of an invasion of privacy. But outside of that, you know, what she did is an act of reproductive coercion. Yeah. And so I think moving forward, you, what you need to do is you really need to think through all the possibilities. Like, if you talk to her, because you do have to talk to her at some point, but before you do, think about it. Because if she says, oh, well, uh, if she's like, she's upfront uh, and it's like, oh, I love you, but like, is that going to matter? Or if she's very dismissive, like, how are you going to feel about that? So I, need to, I think it's best if you, like, think through the possible outcomes and how you're going to react to them. Is there an outcome where you want divorce? Is there an outcome where you want counseling? Um, so that would be kind of my advice for moving forward. Yeah, I think that those are all really sound points. Like, if he can consider this, write down what he's looking for out of this and what will make him, you know, happy or were an unhappy. And... That's, it's really one of those things where it just seems uh, like a really bad situation to be put in. Mm -hmm. And where my doubt comes in onto the validity of this post, he just walked in right at the right time. He never comes home early. He acts like the house was completely unsupervised and that this is completely unexpected. Well, that's another thing is if the, it sounds like the kids are young and so does she just leave them to room like roam all over the house all the time like i understand like you can leave kids unsupervised in the house for some period of time depending on how old they are but that is a little sketchy yeah but the part that really kind of makes me question everything here is microwaving birth control now this is the psa if you take birth control it's important to know that if you if they heat up they do become ineffective, right? You can actually cause birth control to stop being effective if it does heat up. So don't leave birth control in like the car or anything like that because that can definitely be a 
uh, way to make it fail. Yeah, anywhere where it's going to be in direct sunlight for an extended period of time. And the microwave, while you can put metal in the microwave, if anything has sharp edges, it can cause sparking. And then the odd thing is like, the taking birth control right in front of your partner, that would feel really odd if that's not something that you're like, usually doing being like oh look i'm explicitly taking my birth control right in front of you well it could be something just part of her nightly routine or something yeah i mean it could be maybe and maybe i'm just looking too much into this post. i think you want it to be fake and like granted i do too because reproductive coercion is terrible and it shouldn't happen to anyone and when you get in a situation where you find out your partner has trapped you but you also have kids you love and like it gets to be a very emotionally complicated situation and i wouldn't want anyone to be in that position mm -hmm. i can't comment on whether it's real or fake all i can say is that if it is real opa hopefully you're able to find peace with some outcome whether that's you know divorcing her and moving on or going to counseling to try and repair and rebuild trust mm. and counseling on its own might be really helpful mm -hmm. here to start off with because you kind of found something out that's very traumatic and it's going to take a long time to process it and kind of understand how you're feeling about these feelings well that's a really good point the solo counseling yeah because it may take you time to even figure out what you want and a, a therapist may be able to help you figure out what feels right in your heart to do yeah so i really feel bad for op and i think that this is a terrible situation like i said but let me know what you folks think so anyhow take care and good luck and disposable dick says why wouldn't you just skip your pills and say that you took them instead of microwaving them or stick them under your tongue and spit them out and pretend to put them in your mouth and palm them if your partner really watches you take a pill every day also birth control comes in those little blister packs and that would melt if you stuck all of your pills in the microwave at once all right folks it is tea time grab your beverages of choice i've got some tea right here and amber she's got a joke why wouldn't the guy eat a clock okay well <laughs> you know i can tell you why I, this guy wouldn't eat a clock now you might be like brian it's because all clocks are made out of stone because they're sundials and that's true well yes and sundials as we know have very sharp pointy edges on them which make them extremely hard to eat it would be too time consuming it would be too time consuming to eat a clock and it would chip your teeth because of the sundials not all clocks are sundials in fact most clocks today are not sundials i've never seen a clock that wasn't a sundial there's literally on the bottom corner of your screen a clock i don't see that <laughs> brian is gaslighting us all and i have to make a mint all right folks that's all the time we have for this saturday morning special i hope you're having a great saturday so far amber we need some kind of moral guidance and please say it like someone who's lost and looking for directions i'm gonna need you to help me with this one that's okay mm -hmm. so you just like speak to me in another language when i start asking you for directions oh i've been wandering this trail for hours if only hey hey konnichiwa you speak english though right like oh why did i have to tell my girlfriend she could only speak one language and now i'm single and only speaking one language and lost in the woods i don't know <laughs> that was kind of my <laughs> the moral of the story is just don't be bad about people speaking other languages i don't know thanks so much for watching and we will see you all tomorrow bye i'm a 34 year old male and i moved in with my girlfriend soon to be fiance carolyn or Cornelia. I'm a 34 year old male and I moved in with my girlfriend, soon to be fiance, Cor uh, Cornelia. What? <laughs> Cornelinus. Cor, cor the Earth's core. I moved in with the Earth's core and now I'm on fire and I don't understand why. Everything burns all the time. And disposable dick says. <laughs>